Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Green Zero back here with another Command & Conquer 3 Kings Wrath video commentary. I haven't done a game for a, uh, a little while now, I guess. Uh, there's been a few videos here and there. But I'm uh, going to bring you this one now. It is on the new uh, R8 or version 8 of the 1.02 Plus, which recently came out and brought us tons of new maps. Bike Crash is streaming tons of stuff on the new maps. You'll see everyone playing on them. Uh, not many replays being uploaded just yet, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, remember, we are still looking for any last-second donations for the tournament. If you want to pitch in uh, to the tournament, go to Kane's Wrath Online in the link below, and uh, there is a donation tab on the left-hand side there. So anything we get will go towards the tournament and the site. Okay, again, remember, guys, I don't monetize my videos. I don't spam me with ads. Never ask for anything. So if you can chuck us a couple of bucks or anything like that, that would uh, really be helpful. Make the tournament even better. And when you see what we have planned for you, it's gonna be it's gonna be huge. Like you guys have no idea. But uh, anyway. Let's jump into this game here. We have Smiles Betray, which is State of the Union. Uh, just one of his Smurfs. And the bonus Rue. And we're on Smash Dust Bowl. That's right, Smash Dust Bowl. Brand new to the map pool. Of course, uh, we've whipped around this map in the last video. So you've got the dry blue field here. A little bit of Tib Crystal there, I guess. Not worth driving all the way down there to grab it. And we're going to have the bonus Rue over here. He's going to be Vanilla Nod. So he's going to be... Uh, Vanilla Nod, and we got State of the Union down here. He's going to be uh, GDI Vanilla by the looks of things. Yeah, so classic GDI versus Nod on tournament. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> not tournament. Dust Bowl, Smash Dust Bowl. Looks like State of the is going to go one Engineer. Uh, bonus route is not going to go. He did go one Engineer. Fire, he, he's got a late Engineer. Uh, as you can see, of course, the spikes are repositioned to favor one side. So this one favors Bonus route, and this one favors State of the Union. Although that building is there. And uh, is Bonus Rue going to get there first? Oh, he does. He gets there first. That's not good for State of the Union. He's got two rifles either side. They're going to have to make a run for it. Engineer's going to have to take the long way around. And he actually lost one of his squads. And there's Shadow Teams. There are Shadow Teams here. Did not see this. State of the Union is going to lose out big time. Tries to dig a foxhole. He's not going to be able to make it. Sitting Duck there. And that's going to be dead. Meanwhile, over the other side, Bonus Rue is having, having to go around the long way. Shadow Teams went around the fence, which is not good. Uh, that could have been dangerous. But he went double Shadow Team and he went double Engineer. And again, State of the Union, probably not expecting that because of the realigned spikes, but again, Shadow Teams on this map are uh, still quite good. You can't get the power plant, of course, because uh, you have to go for your spikes. We've got the other Shadow Team just rolling around over here. There's no Engineer. I mean, you can't really expect him to build an Engineer. State of the Union might want to think about sniping that Engineer, but you can probably guess there's Shadow Teams there. Bonus Rue going to leave that area now. He knows that the Engineer is going to be able to get that spike. So he's going to be doing just fine. MCV is on the move here. Might as well move it. He hasn't got enough money to build a ref. Uh, so he might as well just, uh, yeah, keep uh, keep on trucking there uh, and uh, and pump out his harvester. Second harvester is out now. State of the Union is... Oh, he actually went... Uh, he didn't go for a second harvester. He went straight for an APC and the pit bull to try to deny the uh, the shadow teams. I probably wouldn't have even worried about it. I just would have tried to out tech him uh, or out eco him there. It probably would have been too big a deal if he lost a power plant here or there. But bonus route, nonetheless, he's not actually going to go in. He's just going to chill around. And, of course, that's the thing you can do with the shadow teams. You don't actually have to use them. Uh, you can just move them around. He's going to actually just bomb the refinery as well. I mean, he might as well. He's not going to get the power plant, so he might as well do something. And State of the Union is going to pay money to repair that now, so you can see it's having its effect. And, of course, uh, Bonus Rue is just going to move away, and he needs to watch out. He's going to get all oh, caught in the stealth attack just there, so State of the Union knows they're just out to the left here. Bonus Rue might have want to have changed positions and go, go back around, but uh, nonetheless, State of the Union has three harvesters out. He's going to have to power that ref back up pretty soon once he gets his fourth out. He's actually building another refinery pretty quickly. He's only got three harvesters. That's that's a pretty crazy third. Is that going to be a third ref? It is going to be a third ref. Far out. I'm not sure what his build is actually here. But um, he needs to get more harvesters out before going for a ref because it's not cost effective. Uh, bonus room, meanwhile, does have a ref down here. Uh, he's got two half, uh, three half, two refs. So again, he didn't go for three half. I would have gone for three half first, but uh, now he's going for it. Uh, redeploy. He's just moving his conyard around a little bit here and there. Uh, but meanwhile, both sides just getting up a lot of uh, a lot of refineries and not, not enough harvesters. Where do those shadow teams go? They're around here somewhere. I know that. There they are. They're over here. They're going to come in and, oh, they need to watch out. I think they, they might know that the pit bull is there. They're going to go around back to the bottom of the base here. Again, they're just going to bomb this uh, this ref here, cause some damage, and then get out of there. Again, Bonus Rue has not taken a single shot of damage to these shadow teams. And uh, they're just going to be a pain for State of the Union because he invested in this. And, of course, that's counteracting the investment of the uh, the Shadow Teams. Not entirely, I guess, but uh, just a little bit helping him out there. We got 5 and 2 on the main field. We got 1 and 1 on the expansion field. Meanwhile, Bonus Route has... Uh, he's now got 4 and 1 and 3 and 2. No, another ref down here. So he's jumped ahead of the economy game. 
He's going to have five and two and three and one. So he's got an extra two harvesters on State of the Union at the moment. And what's he going to do about that? Again, just uh, chilling with these uh, these buildings here. He has not grouped his power plants together. So you would have thought against Shadow Teams, you'd put them, try to put them as close as possible so the tower can cover all of them. But uh, he's had to pull these guys out wide. Uh, Bonus Rue doing a good job not letting his Shadow Teams get taken out. They're giving him all the intel he needs. So he knows exactly what's going on. He's like, hey, I'm not going to get attacked. I'm not going to get rushed. So I can just uh, eco. Uh, State of the Union has, has played it pretty blind here because he's got absolutely no eyes on Bonus Rue and he's had no eyes the whole game. That is super risky. If Bonus Rue decided to go bikes after this attack, he would have been cheering. One of the Shadow Teams getting shot up a little bit there, but it's still going to be okay. But uh, nonetheless, uh, State of the Union taking a pretty big risk there. And uh, of course, he did lose his opening engineer, so uh, we have the Shadow Teams now moving out wide. Uh, he knows where they are, he's got the pit bull here, but of course there's no anti-infantry, so they're going to be just perfectly fine. Bonus Rue is just chilling on two spike, and here we go, he's going to go into the infantry, which he tends to do this Bonus Rue, not really an aggressive player in the early to mid game. He tends to just, yeah, get up the infantry, the slow moving nod forces. Is a bit of a camper, Bonus Camp has come up a few times for the, uh, the smack talk there, and we got the Shadow Teams actually bombing this structure here trying to get the scouts out of it. That's a good idea as well. Just make sure that State of the Union has absolutely no eyes on the map at all. He's got some units moving across now, but bonus we can see, hey look, there's quite a few pit bulls moving across. A second MCV comes out and sells off the conyard and he's got a tech lab, but he needs these rocket troopers to move over to this field. Otherwise these units here, oh no, bonus what are you doing? He's going to the blue tip, which looks like he has been stealing by the way. Uh, I'm pretty sure bonus would have been stealing because it is dry. That harvester was re-rallied down there. But again, he needs to move some rocket squads over here right now because he's going to get attacked by these pit bulls. He's pulling the harvester now and State Union decides not to commit. There's only a handful. Oh, actually, it's more wall. Okay, maybe not. All right, there's quite a few rockets there. Manages to take that out. He's got the obelisk there as well. Uh, MCV is on the expanse. So he's got double MCV. He's going for his inf infantry upgrades. Let's see which one he got first. I'm assuming, yeah, it's just disciples because it's usually on top. That's really the only reason. And uh, meanwhile, he's losing these guys here that are getting pushed out of this building. But State Union has a lot of pit bulls and he's going to be up against infantry spam. So he's going to need that AP ammo. He's got the comm center. No AP ammo. He's going for predator tanks. So uh, that's interesting. Pred APC is going for a very uh, low tier uh, GDI task force. Again, these, these forces can get really powerful and they're generally quite mobile. Uh, again, Predator tanks, you know, they're, they're slow, but they're not that slow. Um, especially for when you get to the tier 3 arm with epic units and things like that, they all of a sudden they seem a lot faster. Harvesters keep being pulled down to this field. So Bonus Rue pulling some harvesters off the line there. He's got four on this field. And look at his main field. He just hasn't got enough harvesters. He's taken a little slither out of this main field. And he's almost cleaned up his expansion field. So he needs to do something about that. Uh, pretty cool. Oh, he's actually expanded down here. Uh, so he's going double expand with the obelisk here. And stay in the Union is going to try to respond. He's got an airfield up. Not sure what he's going to be going for. Does he have a tech center? He does not have a tech center. So it's going to be orcas or hammerheads. And I'll be interested to see which one it actually is. There's still a shadow team rolling around. If he's just going to move forward again. So this is pretty crazy from Bonus Tree. He's got infantry over here, but of course, uh, State of Union just, it just has no anti-infantry here at all. And of course, the infantry are fully upgraded. All these pit bulls are just getting massacred with this line of infantry here. That was not a good flank at all by uh, State of Union. He should have cut through the middle of the map, perhaps, and gone in behind. There's, again, there's only one harvester on that field. Bonus Tree might want to get some more up. He's got three and two. No, four and two at this expansion, so he's sitting pretty. And of course, now he's got this ring of obelisks, and he is trying to go for hammerheads, but he doesn't have AP ammo. And he's going to lose that airfield, and he's probably going to lose his MCV as well, because here come the AA batteries, and they've got Tib Core far out. Bonus has got Tib Core done. Uh, he's going to need some more obelisks here. He does lose one, but he's got two more as backup. And uh, State Union is just going to pull back here. Again, uh, APM is still at least probably about 10 seconds away, so again, taking the sweet time with that one. He's probably going to go for some juggernauts, I'd imagine. He's got this force here, and this force, of course, will probably fall victim to infantry and or... Uh, and or uh, Obelisk here, and Bonus Rue quickly trying to garrison that building as fast as he can. And of course, he's going to try to uh, move across to the other side. Bonus Rue's going to have to place down some Obelisks over here. Most of the infantry gets away, they get shot up a little bit, but State of the Union is being contained, and he's actually going to try to defend this MCV, so he's trying to go for an engineer as well to uh, to repair it. But again, uh, the longer this game goes on, the better the Bonus better, better the bonus Rue, better position Bonus Rue's in, because he's got his third expansion down, and he's refining where, where um, State of the Union, he's almost out of Tib. And once that goes, he's not going to be able to reinforce as effectively as Bonus Rue. And again, maybe this force could just strike straight through the middle, overwhelm this one obelisk and cut around and kill all these units here. Of course, Bonus Rue does appear to have triple MCV and that harvester. No, I don't think it's bugged out. I think it's waiting for this other harvester to get in there. Uh, CGF done a pretty good job with the harvester corrections and uh, it's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. No, maybe it is stuck. Okay, what's happening over here? Meanwhile, Juggernaut's pushing down the door over here. 
And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Bovistry might have uh, placed himself a little bit too close there. That Harvester just bugging out pretty quickly. And yeah, he can't even seem to correct it at all. So uh, more Obelisks coming down now. They're going to be trying to strike these Juggernauts. And uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get that one. Yeah, he's going to move outside range. So oh, he can actually strike the other Juggernaut and stay the Union on point. Quickly moves them back. And he's going to be able to focus this one down quite nicely. But remember, Bovistry has the power of three. Uh, MCVs here, and he actually pushed forward with his infantry squads. I'm surprised there's no militants here. I mean, it's just all rocket squads. Militants are great for drawing fire and absorbing damage, and they're only 200 bucks each, but he's just massed it out with rockets. Of course, he has got the uh, the, co the confessors in there, which is always nice. Going for a redeemer now, and let's have a look here. He still kept a hold of his secret shrine. Maybe going to go for some stealth towers. Oh, he actually sells up. He's, oh no, maybe he lost it, perhaps. Or has he got an engineer there? No, no, he may have just straight out lost it. Stadium actually managed to force him off with all these uh, with all these juggernauts. Uh, so he pulled five of them on him, and he did manage to push Bodus away. So that's a pretty big victory, because now, um, of course, State of the Union didn't lose his Conyard, which is pretty crazy. And he's going to be able to start his refining. He's got double ref down as well, and he does take this spike. Another engineer is on the field. Not sure what he's there for. Maybe just a leftover one before from the husks. But uh, let's see what Bonus is going to do about this now. Uh, he actually trained a black hand squad by the looks of it. It's easy just to draft an operation center. We got the Tib Chem plant, so we may see some one clicks come out from Bonus Root. Again, he's one of those players who will uh, use everything on the defensive. But um, he's going to garrison that up with a flame unit, and of course, he's going to go for the engineer repair pad. But uh, let's see what he's doing here. Not much. He's just chilling. He's pulled in the reinforcement Tiberium there. And again, still hasn't made that much of an effort to clean up this field. He's got so much Tiberium here, it's not funny. I mean, I'm not sure why he hasn't uh, gone to more efforts to clean that up. Again, still holding onto the shrine. Moving forward now with his Redeemer. Lots of rocket squads coming out. And State Union trying to steal Blue Tib. There's only a tiny bit in that Harvester, though. Just not getting enough. Marv is on its way out over here. But again, Bonus Root is going to be pushing on this base. He's going to be pushing on this base. I don't think State Union is going to be able to hold it. He doesn't quite have enough. He's suppressing the infantry, which is really good. Uh, Bonus Root might want to use a force move just to close the distance, and then once he gets in range, then he can be suppressed all he wants. But uh, yeah, Stadia is definitely going to lose uh, some of these units here. A nuclear missile comes down as well. Bonus Root has just dropped a nuke somewhere on the map, but uh, we'll keep focused on this uh, this engagement here. Rage Gen goes off. These Juggernauts, oh no, flanking the other Juggernauts, which is never good. Shockwave Artillery comes down, nails the Redeemer. All this infantry getting hit by Shockwave Artillery and getting shot in the back by these APCs. Bonus, I'm not sure why he's not turning to engage. Not even using Force Move either, so oh man, he just got decimated and lost everything. That is uh, that is just key, not how to handle a situation like that at all. I'm not sure if Bonus Rue wasn't paying attention, whether he just assumed his retreat would be fine. But I uh, could have done a much better job than that. And uh, State of the Union looked like he was in serious trouble then. But actually uh, came out uh, relatively on top. He lost one Juggernaut, but he's actually going to recover it. Some of his uh, Tier 1 got shot up a little bit there. There's probably a handful of losses and most of them being seen the red health. But he can definitely get some repairs on those if he needs to. Is the Marv actually out? I don't think the Marv is out. I can't actually see it anywhere. But if we jump back, we have the nuclear missile down to just 6 minutes. Of course, Bonus Street does have Master Computer Countermeasures, so he could have actually used that to save his Redeemer. And again, maybe something just slipping his mind there. Oh, Catalyst comes down. Always nasty. Venom's coming out now as well. He's got laser capacitors and he snipes down that zone trooper squad. Always annoying. Always so, so annoying for uh, for our GDI faction to lose something like that. But these Venom's going to cause problems now. They're going to prevent uh, uh, State of the Union from really getting out some air. He's going to have to get some Firehawks or something to clean those up if he wants to go air. But uh, again, it's just nice to have a group of Venom's, especially with laser capacity. They give you so much intel, so much scouting. They can just take out those little annoying units like um, infantry squads that uh, get inside your base or, or, or aircraft because, of course, they, they do a decent amount of damage to aircraft, especially if they're in a group. And he does snipe down engineers. Well, he's watch out the pit bulls. They're not going to be welcome at all. And uh, he doesn't get the engineer. The State of the Union is forced to pile him straight into that Marv. Uh, so he's ended up on a front repair pad, uh, which is usually what you want to reserve for weapons because the weapons have more range on the front repair pad. But uh, meanwhile, Bonus Rue does have a second uh, a second Redeemer out. He puts a Flame and an Engineer repair pad in this one as well. So same as last time. Very popular combination here for the Nod Factions. And meanwhile, we've got uh, six Venoms just chilling. I wonder if he's going to go for some Vertigos. This could be a Vertigo. It's taking a little bit more than nine seconds to build. And it's always nice to see these units come out because they're a very tactical unit. And I'm definitely going to say this one is going to be a Vertigo Bomber. Yeah, here we go. We've got some Vertigos out and about from Bonus Route. So he's going to wait until he gets probably at least two of them. But uh, ideally, you want four. And uh, meanwhile, still hasn't uh, cleaned up all his tib over here. So he's still funding himself. Still got the tib over here as well. Hasn't quite cleaned it up again. He's only doing it with the, the bare minimum amount of harvesters. 
and uh, I'm not sure what that was. He put a... Uh, did he get disruption pods? Did you guys see that? He just dropped a disruption pod onto the Redeemer. It is there. There it is. It's on top of the Redeemer. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's just there. <laughs> That's crazy. No one, Almost no one uses those at all. I mean, it's a very cheap upgrade. It's like 500 bucks, and it's only how much to drop these things? $300, so I guess it is. It does cost $300. It only lasts for a certain amount of time, but it cloaks the, the unit it's on, and it cloaks all the units around it as well. So you can see most of the infantry is stealth. And he's actually bringing these back here. And stay the union. He knows that he knows what's coming. He's got a, a rig here. He's got sniper teams, which is great because they're going to be able to reveal the stealth, and they can help him deal with the infantry. But he's only got one squad. I would have thought he'd be looking to pump out a few more of those. I mean, while he's just chilling over here, he's got the firehawks. He's got these units. He's just guarding himself because we did see stealth tanks coming out from a bonus route as well. Uh, meanwhile, of course, they're going to come in here and they're going to get shelled by these uh, these juggernauts. And the APMA is going to start to make its uh, make its mark here. Rage Gen goes off. This juggernaut is going to flank his own units. These guys are going to start shooting at each other. And we have oh no, we got a vapor bomb and shockwave artillery. Oh no, the vapor bomb. Oh, it does does go off. It just manages to go off. The shockwave artillery goes down. Our oh, master computer countermeasures saves the redeemer, powers it back up, and moves out there. That's how bonus route should have handled the first engagement. And again, either he wasn't looking or he just didn't it didn't cross his mind. But again, Ego got away with all of his infantry and his redeemer. So uh, master computer countermeasures there, definitely the way to go. And hitting these guys with a vapor bomb didn't really do that much to the juggernauts. They can withstand that, but all the buildings got leveled almost immediately. Uh, meanwhile, bonus route moving across to this side of the map. The Marv is just chilling over here from State of the Union. Now he's got one, he's got three repair pad and one rail. So uh, these Venoms, they might not want to engage this force. Supersonic airstrike, oh jeez, he just missed. He just missed, oh man, he just spliced them, didn't he? Bonus route, just managing to move there. And we got these Vertigo Bombers, I'm not sure what they're doing. I haven't even seen them attack yet. I'm not sure if I just missed it. Sniper team is here, he's gonna, again, need more than one. That's a veteran sniper team, so he's called in sharpshooters from somewhere. And oh, the Venom just insta snipe it down. He might wanna put the sniper teams inside the APCs. That's probably gonna be the way to go. Ration goes off. These guys are gonna attack each other, which is never good. Just wearing his own force down. And one of the Juggernauts actually gets dropped, so Bones are gonna pull back now. It looks like the, the pod has uh, worn off from the Redeemer now. Let's see if the Vertigo Bombers are going to drop any more of those. But uh, they are moving out. They're probably going to be aiming for a Juggernaut. You can actually see the upgrade on them as well. That's crazy. I've never seen... <laughs> Again, they take out the Juggernaut. You can see the upgrade on them on the top there. They've got like a, a pad. And again, that's pretty crazy. I didn't realize they had a visual upgrade, uh, the Vertigo Bombers, for that, that, that one there. But that just goes to show. Again, no one really uses it because they just use a cloaking field. Again, uh, and Vertigo Bombers, when they're using them, they just tend to use them for uh, bombing. And, oh man, Firehawks take out the uh, the ship there, but the mines hit their mark and they do so much damage. Bonus Rue doesn't quite finish it off. Oh man, and he's not using the, the Force move either, so he's not going to be able to get out. There is a Stealth Tower here, but uh, that was crazy. Just managing to save that uh, that Marv. And I think that was a mistake by Bonus Rue. Should have gone in. Actually, he's going to send these uh, Vertigo Bombers over. But he's probably going to lose in this Firehawks here. And, oh no, one goes down, two goes down. And he did kill the Marv. But he lost two, uh, two um, Vertigo Bombers, which is still a harsh trade. I mean, it's, it's still cost-effective, but it's, it's just harsh for bonus route. And uh, he's going to move here with the infantry squads and his Redeemer. And again, he's got the Juggernauts, he's got the APCs. And he's putting a lot of pain on the Redeemer. He's probably going to be able to drop it. There's too many APCs, I think, for bonus route. Rage Gen is going to go off. He's going to go for a run. But is he going to be able to get away? Venoms are in here, but of course, they're not too good against APMA APCs. And of course, uh, we've got a rig over here as well. And the APCs are going to be able to overwhelm this. And the Redeemer does go down. Fire out bonus are actually losing this engagement. That's not too good. So, again, State of the Union managing to do it with just APCs. Uh, APCs and Juggernaut seems like a pretty good deal for him at the moment. But uh, but uh, nonetheless, we have got... Uh, it looks like he might have lost his Texan. And maybe there was a sniper team there and there was a Bombard ability. I'm not quite sure. Maybe he did sell it off because the Black Hand Squad from the Texan, which was there, is actually damaged, which is leading me to believe that it has actually been destroyed. Um, again, otherwise he would have a full health one. Rig is actually going to repair the Firehawks. They do repair aircraft now. So uh, that that's always nice. And we got some units down here. Our stadium has moved across. There's stealth tanks all over the place, though. These Juggernauts, are uh, they're in a very dangerous situation. And the, oh, jeez, Firehawks coming. They straight up fire in. And all the guys, oh, they're all bunched up. They're all bunched up. Look at all the flames and debris as that comes down. Oh, that's terrible. The stealth tanks, though, are going to be able to cut off the Juggernauts, and that's what matters. But again, losing that many Venoms is not good for bonus He needed a scatter move. But again, I'm not sure why State of the Union had that force out here. That was very dangerous. So these Juggernauts are very expensive, and just to have them out there with very little cover, and he's not even going to clean up the husk, which means he's not worried about that at all. And I did miss the nuclear missile. Did I miss the nuclear missile? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Oh no. Oh no, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to edit that back in somehow. <laughs> Bad green zero, and these stealth tanks actually going out. We'll continue on without it. I'll see if I can pop that back in later on. But uh, we got these guys moving into this uh, this area now, and uh, we have engineers coming. So again, uh, the nuke did take out by the looks of things almost all the juggernauts, but of course the husks are still behind. And uh, and State of the Union, he's just going to pick those back up. Another Marv is out in the field. There's nothing garrison it. Firehawks here. We've got some beacons over here, and he does go in for a strike on the tip chem plant. Doesn't quite take it out. Not really expecting to take it out with just the orca strike. Maybe some fireworks could have come in as well, but again, he doesn't have any stealth detection here. Bowshrew not going back for Vertigo Bombers. They have served him well. He's still keeping a hold of the shrine as well. I'm not quite sure what he's planning to do with that one there. But again, he's got these uh, juggernauts here, and he's, these rigs, these rigs are great now in games like these where you need a forward operating base, and they can just give you repairs so quickly. They repair faster than a war factory, for people that didn't know that. And we've got the cell tanks over here just cleaning up husks. These APCs aren't going to be much of a match for them. They need, need really something like a, a rockets and a, and a sniper team just to go in and clean those guys out because they'll have a real tough time. Cloaking Field goes down on the Redeemer now. That's $3,000 there. And uh, State Union is going to be uh, quite happy just sitting here at this base. He needs to watch out for Rage Gen. That's really going to hurt him. And uh, meanwhile, he's going to be able to cover this husk by the looks of things. Bonestry has a few stealth tanks out. They haven't been doing too well. That's definitely a decoy Redeemer for sure, but he's trying to get eyes on this base. I'm not quite sure if he wants to one-click him because, to be honest, it is just not worth one-clicking at all in this situation. Uh, State of Union needs to recover that husk. Yep, he's going to do so now. There we go. But again, there's no point uh, really one-clicking because, again, these refineries aren't even being used and they're not even really worth anything. They're only worth about five, 600 bucks to... Uh, to stay in the union there because when you sell them you get almost nothing out of them there you go i mean it wasn't even worth i don't even think it was worth the two thousand dollars to drop that but uh, nonetheless bonus Rue has called it in and he's still going in for infantry he's got the stealth tanks on the ground again all units that you're familiar with are uh, bonus Rue, venoms vertigo stealth tanks infantry uh, redeemer and of course he's got the nuclear missile no iron cannon coming out of uh state of the union and he has he's reinforced with a few more juggernauts He's trying to get a two-pronged attack against Bonus Room, which is really what you want to do. You really need to split Bonus Room up and hit him in multiple areas at the same time because he likes to focus on one area. Uh, that's what I've learned. He wants to get you into the kill zone. He wants your army together uh, so it's more vulnerable to his area of effect or his splash damage. And he's moving into this stealth area and these juggernauts, of course, one of them goes down straight away, but he's just got too many here. GDI Airborne is coming in, maybe going for compo armor as well, but starting to transition to infantry. And again, he does sell these units here off, all these buildings off. Stealth Tower goes down, he's going to be like, hey, hang on a second, there's actually nothing here. But again, he's got grenades, EMP grenades, and the uh, armory, is he going? He's going for composite armor as well, so Rage Gen comes out. We got a oh, good hit as well, and that's going to be a mine strike. There's a pit bull here, so he should be able to clean this up before taking too much damage, and it looks like he's going to. Uh, not really losing that much at all, obviously, that one juggernaut is definitely down. And, uh, and he's going to move forward now. Bonus Rue's probably going to lose this base. He's going to try to defend it, but he's getting... Oh, there's actually stealth tanks down here. They could take out the Space Uplink Command. It's definitely going to be dangerous. And State Union has a lot of economy down here as well. These harvesters are all full of Tiberium. Uh, these guys here just shooting him. He sells off and he gets the Zone Trooper Squad, and that's big problems. Oh, no, he, they're not full health. What are they doing? Are they not actually doing... They didn't appear to be doing as much damage as I thought they would be doing. They didn't actually get a kill. That stealth tank can't re-stealth. Uh, meanwhile, if you're moving forward, again, State of the Union might want to put some more sniper teams out. He doesn't have to worry about Venoms at the moment because uh, because Bonus Rue has not rebuilt them at all. Oh, he's actually rebuilding them now. He's only got two, but again, uh, in this game here, Bonus Rue just seems to be defending less and less of his base. So he must realize that he's slowly starting to lose his grip on this base as uh, State of the Union just uh, eeks, uh, creeps his way around here. And uh, he's actually going to get some repairs back on these Juggernauts, which is always nice. Got the rig here. Deploys so fast. It's so cool now. And uh, again, moving the Mar back. Uh, the Mar doesn't uh, need repairs as much. Actually, is short one pad. I think maybe he's going to put another engineer in there, get a quad uh, quad repair Mar just as a big meat shield. Always a good idea, especially if you're not quite sure what you're going to be up against. And uh, it's always always sound. EMP grenades with composite armor here. Ray Shen's going to go off again, and I just don't think he's got the MP. Yeah, no, he's not going to be able to throw an MP grenade yet. Not until the rage wears off. And uh, these guys firing each other, but the rig is still repair. <laughs> The rig's repairing as it uh, as it deals damage. Battle markers over here. We got a uh, harvester which has obviously wandered into no man's land. Oh, there is an attack over here, and it looks like these uh, these uh, APCs just rolled in, but they just got minced. That was probably not a very good engagement from State of the Union. 
only one survivor there. Uh, meanwhile, he's still picking off more harvesters. He's closing the noose on bonus three. This is what you got to do. You just got to slowly wear him down. Creep forward inch by inch. Don't overcommit because then this happens when you saw that attack just before. Uh, another nuclear missile looks like he's going to go off because he's only got 90 seconds before that, that that's going to hit. Again, these stealth towers just slowing State of the Union down like they always do. What's happening there? Something got blown up. I'm not sure what it was. I don't think it was a Firehawk. I think it might have been a Venom. And again, just keeping these Firehawks over here, repairing everything as he needs to. The Marv is out in front uh, to force the Rage Gen without affecting the units at the rear. But again, that's prime for a nuclear missile. They definitely might get hit there. But uh, yeah, this is dangerous because Bonus is hiding under the stealth. He's got an army here. Scan goes down and he's going to know that's there now. And he's actually going to take out the tier two. Rage Gen goes off. I don't think it's going to affect too much. No, not quite. Not quite. Turns around, takes a swing at the ABC. Not going to be enough. He's going to be able to repair that up. Nice work there. And he's going to be focusing down that Black Hand squad. But his Bonus Rue back down to tier one. He's got tier three, so he's just missing tier two. And these units, he's losing a few of them to this obelisk. But of course, he is destroying harvesters. And uh, that's going to be what counts here, just wearing down Bonus Rue's force and trying to prevent him from actually doing uh, much harvesting at all. A few harvesters getting capped off there now. we got battle markers over here. We've got a shockwave artillery came down, but I think he might have used a mass computer countermeasures. And uh, oh, actually, I think he just spent, but that might have missed the, uh, might have missed the Redeemer. Mind Strike comes down, gets a good hit, but of course the rig can repair uh, everything that's here, and of course it can reveal stealth. He might want to put the repair tool down on the battle base because uh, it is almost down. He kind of needs that to uh, hold this position, I reckon. It's just giving him so much more longevity uh, to this attack force. And he is actually splitting up his force now. He, he knows there's a nuclear missile coming. And uh, double stealth tower here from Bonus, really trying to camp it up pretty hard. He has all the upgrades from his tech center, but one second now for the nuke to go off. Let's see what Bonus is going to do. And I don't know where he's going to shoot this. I have no idea where he's going to put that. I don't know if he's going to put it up there or down there. There he goes. Ah, I didn't miss that one. And so all those units going down there. A couple of Juggernauts, the Firehawks, the Rig goes down. The Marv manages to weather that storm. But uh, yeah, that, that hurts. He needs to get another repair pad inside the Marv. And oh, look at this. Engineer is just already there. I don't know. if, we, And then there's a Commando there as well. And State of the Union just rolls in. He needs to watch out. The Venoms are coming. And he gets all three. And that Firehawk just caps that Venom like it was nothing. And he even comes around and finishes off the second one but he doesn't have hard points, so he's out of ammo. He's going to have to get out of there. Rage Gen goes off. We've got a Commando on the front line, have we? Where is he? No, he's back there. I thought he was going to be shooting up this infantry, but not quite. Uh, Venom turning around, trying to finish off this Juggernaut. I think he's going to get it too, and he needs to watch out. That Commando is in, in danger of going down, but there's APCs here. And again, Commando, always a good idea. Can't be affected, really, by those uh, hallucinogenic grains. I don't believe he can, because he's just one dude, so he can't shoot at himself, uh, unless he wants to shoot at nearby infantry, but... Uh, We'll have to see how that goes. If it comes to that, bonus route again, just uh, he has not quite lost as much ground this time around. But uh, again, it was only because of that nuclear missile, which he has sold. He sold off the nuclear missile, maybe realizing that uh, he's not going to get another opportunity to fire that off. Maybe he's a bit worried. I mean, his, his defense here is still considerable, but uh, State of the Union just uh, building up his forces. Engineer is rolling with this group, and he's got all his upgrades. He's got a lot of uh, juggernauts here getting repairs on the Marv. And again, with the with the aid of the, the, the rig and, and all these repair pads, the Marv is healing up quite quickly. I've never seen a Marv heal quite so fast. It's uh, definitely quite good there for him. Does he have mortar upgrade? No, he doesn't have mortar upgrade. We've got a beacon down here. We've got stealth tanks moving their way in, shooting down some Firehawks by the looks of things and just capping off some units here. State of the Union might want to respond to that. I think these guys are just on an aggressive stance because Bonus Rue doesn't appear to be microing them at all. And all sniper teams are actually flying right over the center here. And is he going to lose one? I think he's going to lose one before it even hits the ground. And that's expensive. You can't really lose those. Uh, meanwhile, I don't think State of the Union is paying too much attention to what's happening down here because uh, he's not actually trying to stop these guys. Sells off the space something command. Might want to jump jet forward. I think he can get that stealth tank if he really tries. One more shot from this pit bull, and oh, he gets it with the, with the zone trooper squad. He might even get the second one. Zone trooper's actually really good against killing uh, stealth tanks. And there he goes, actually gone veteran already, just from uh, two stealth tank kills there. More zone troopers coming from the bottom now. But of course, he did lose his space uplink command. He got a few sniper teams. I'm not sure where they are. They're uh, over here. The commander needs to get in on this action. He's just chilling over here. The Marv is in danger of going down. State Union needs to come forward and try to save this one. He needs to suppress these guys. And he's got the commander here trying to kill the Black Hand. But even Black Hand, they can weather the, the, uh, the, the uh, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, uh, the rail carbine, I think. Some kind of rail carbine that the commando has. And he does go down to the Venoms, but he caused a lot of damage. Probably more than $2,000 worth of his cost. 
Sniper team's coming in, but the Venom's gonna come over the top, and he does manage to shoot down the jet, but again, not before he can drop those mines. Rig is here to clean up, though, but there's no anti-infantry left. There's no anti-infantry. There's still a bunch of rocket squads here, and the APC is coming from the flank. That's gonna be nice. Gonna be able to save these juggernauts, I believe. And yeah, they're gonna draw fire. Another sniper team coming from the back here is going to help. Oh, he doesn't even get a shot off, but uh, okay, these guys go down. Again, just one juggernaut hit the deck there, and there's an engineer chilling just there as well. Venom's over here killing those guys there, uh, obviously trying to cave path the way for the uh, stealth tanks to come back into this base. Firehawk is flying around. It is an elite one, but I think he might not have any ammo. Maybe that's why he's not trying to engage. He's just heading up to the top of the map. Does recover that husk there, but again, without his uh, Marv as a meat shield, he's going to have a hard time breaking this base. And let's see what State of the Union can do about that. Keeping his fields relatively dry, but again, he's going to be under attack down here. This stealth tank causing a lot of damage. Venoms are going down to the pit bulls oh so slowly. I think he's going to cap another one off. No, not quite. Doesn't quite defeat that one. But he's going to be able to get it now. That uh, pit bull doing all the work. And this stealth tank, uh, this pit bull, it's not enough to kill this one stealth tank, which is now veteran. And he's going to get out of there. So State of the Union losing most of the harvesters down here. Pit bull streaming in. He might want to get a sniper team with some uh, rocket squads down there. Just to, uh, just to guard that area. But again, his economy's not looking too great. He's got a few harvesters up here, and he's gonna be able to refine these, uh, these, uh, those fields up there. But uh, Bonus Rue is really dry on Tib. He's, he's basically flat out of Tib. He's gonna have to make a move, and he's gonna be heading down towards this field here. There is a bit of Tib here, so he definitely wants to go secure that. Maybe push State of the Union out of this base. State of the Union is tier two, and tier three are located down here. Does he have tungsten shell? He has tungsten shell. Why did he get tungsten shell? I'm not sure, he doesn't have anything that can actually utilize that, but uh, nonetheless, he has decided to upgrade the tungsten shell. Um, again, hasn't actually built a single slingshot or double A tower all game. I'm not sure if he meant to get rail guns and just uh, accidentally hit that because he did have a few tanks at the start of the game. He's got his force over here, doesn't have to worry about the nuke anymore. Marv is back out, just putting in uh, the quad engineers by the looks of things, and these, uh, these Venoms scout out the attack force, which is here. He's going to have to watch out. I mean, he might want to move. I oh, actually can't move the snipe team forward with those Venoms about. Could put the snipe teams in this building over here. That would be pretty good. The Venoms wouldn't be able to crack that uh, very easily at all. Again, blue tip. I haven't really been paying too much attention to the blue tip. I'm assuming both sides have probably been stealing it. Maybe bonus for a little bit more so than State of the Union. That stealth tank getting chased. And he's going to be able to get away there. Nice work. But uh, this army is actually moving back. They probably know the Stealth Redeemer is there. And we've got that Elite Firehawk firing on these guys now. Rage Gen goes off, but I don't think it's going to be enough to... Oh, he gets one Juggernaut, but I think that's going to be it. Where is the rig at? Where is the rig? Oh, there it is. Okay, he's just getting some repairs on these guys. He did just get Mortar Upgrade. So he's got Mortar Upgrade for the Pit Bulls. Might want to be, build a, a big group of those and just go for a raid around the back and just drop buildings because they are fantastic at dropping those structures. And Bonus is actually chickening out. He's going to back off from this uh, this engagement here. Maybe uh, State of the Union saw it coming. I don't know, but he's forced this army down here. State of the Union does have a pretty big force here. I mean, he's got four, five, he's got seven Juggernauts and he's got the forces to, to, uh, to uh, defend it. There's actually an eighth Juggernaut just sitting over there. Again, this rig uh, providing lots of support. Quad Repair Marv. And I think he's going to start another slow push after being repelled in the north slowly. He did a lot of damage and pushed Bonus Rue out of one base. Bonus Rue does have two MCVs still. And this MCV is as you run all the way back across the map. I would have sent it down and around, uh, maybe, or, or snuck down here and put a stealth tower and a refinery just so you can take this field. But uh, nonetheless, he is moving over here. The Redeemer is going to go forward probably for a Rage Gen. And he does go for a Rage Gen, but I don't think he's going to affect too much. No, he just gets that Marv and that APC, which kills the grand total of one Rifleman squad. So... Uh, Stadium is not going to be too fussed about that. Rage Gen's going to have to recharge now. And he's going to move into this base over here. MCV might want to deploy. Uh, he is moving it around though. Again, not sure what bone. Yeah, he does deploy now. Not sure what he's going to be able to do with this because Stadium Unit is starting to push on this base. There is still a stealth tower back here with a bit of cover for him. But uh, again, he's probably going to make his move here. Four, five, six, seven. He's still got eight of those juggernauts there. The rig again with its stealth protection and its, uh, its anti vehicle it will uh, help against stealth tanks as well, I guess. But uh, nonetheless, he does have some sniper teams spread out and some APCs. I think he might need some more anti infantry. He's got plenty of anti armor. He's got the juggernauts he needs. He's got the Marv he needs. What's happening over there? Stealth tank running into these pit bulls. And Stadium is like, good night, veteran stealth tank. That's the end of you. And again, every unit that goes down now, we're at the point in the game where losing units like that, that really hurts because, you know, they're expensive. That's $1,800 for that unit. And again, he's about to be pushed. Uh, again, no iron cannon from uh, State of the Union. Still has that elite Firehawk there. 
probably uh, pretty borderline going Harok. He's actually building engineers, anticipating this, and bringing in reinforcement APC. So it's very methodical here from uh, State Union. Beacon goes down. Is that going to be a shockwave artillery? It is going to be shock, and he nails it, and he's got rear armor. Oh, no, but the Raytians here, he needs to get in range really quickly. And again, he's got rear armor and all these juggernauts. They're going to rip it to pieces. Look how much damage. Look how much damage they do, I think. And the infantry do block the Redeemer briefly. Orbital Strike comes down. We have the Mind Strike, and it misses this time. Does not get the Marv. The Redeemer escapes, but the infantry had to split both sides. And the APCs now have to split up buildings going down over there as well. And, uh, and yeah, State of the Union has shattered that defense. It was really the best bonus we could have hoped for. He saved his Redeemer, split his infantry either side. There's really not much more he could have done with the units he had here, but now he's under some serious pressure this stealth tower is going to go down momentarily and that is going to open the floodgates the infantry is coming from just one direction now and of course he's got all these apcs here rig, rig redeploys and he's going to be giving support to these guys here engineers are just chilling back here just waiting for those jugs to hit the floor but you know what i don't think they're going to go down and uh state of the union now has his armor in range of this mcv and uh and bonus Roo's base yeah bonus Roo literally just sat around and waited for his death i think a little bit too much supersonic airstrike takes out all those venoms there but uh, again, yeah, Bonus Roo just going, uh, uh, he did obviously have some counterattacks in the form of just stealth tanks and some Venoms, but that just wasn't enough to hurt uh, State of the Union there. And uh, he needed to do a little bit more, make a considered push, but now he's getting pushed, and he, his, his main concern now is just trying to hold this attack. We have got a sniper team down here. The APCs are getting chewed up pretty badly, but the Redeemer is coming in now, and he's trying to get in range of these Juggernauts, and that is just not going to happen. And Bonus Roo, uh, the second he loses that uh, Redeemer, he's just like, nope, I'm out of here and State of the Union fire out. That was a long game, and oh man, bonus he's just so hard to dig out of those uh, situations there, and, and State of the Union showing us that it's just so difficult to get bonus through out of that situation. Uh, I get a lot of criticism from a lot of people for playing games against bonus room like that, but that's the way you gotta play, and if he's gonna camp it up, and he's just gonna sit around and wait for you, I mean, that, that's his strategy. His strategy is for you to waste all your units on, on attacks, and then he just turns around and crushes you with a counterattack. But State of the Union, 3.1 kill death ratio to 0.26 to bonus route. A 35 minute game there, so that was pretty long on Smash Dust Bowl. And again, bonus, uh, State of the Union just killing so many more units. Uh, of course, bonus route making more units. The cash there, bonus route got $290,000 or $291,000 to State of the Union's $266,000. So, very heavy economy for both players there. Uh, we got uh, we got about 25,000 in favor of bonus room there in the 35 minute game It's not too significant. It's nice, but it's not like considering the length of the game over here It was probably a bit more significant, but as the game goes on I mean it's not gonna be as significant but uh, structures up and down there, units up and down. Bonus Roo's going to have more, but again, just lost more in the engagements. Bon uh, the recycling of uh, State of Union was pretty good, especially with the Juggernauts, to keep them all operational and to defend them continually was pretty crazy in surviving two nuke blasts. Uh, again, Bonus Roo choosing to use them on units and not bases, uh, especially when uh, State of the Union just recovered a lot of the husks. Maybe thinking he should have targeted infrastructure over the attack there. But uh, nonetheless, State of the Union has won that 35-minute game. Uh, 1.02 plus version 8 Smash Dust Bowl. Don't forget to check out Kane's Wrath online. Don't forget to donate for the tournament. Uh, one time only, but I'm asking for your guys' uh, support on this one here. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be huge. Announcements coming soon. Stay tuned to my channel. Uh, I'm Green Zero. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.